Galaxy S7 display is totally black. Phone won't turn on after update. Step 1. Charge the phone. Obviously, it will rule out the possibility of a drained battery and since you didn't mention trying to charge your phone in your description, I thought that maybe you haven't tried it yet. Of course, use the original charger and cable of your phone so as not to complicate things. If the phone is still not responding when plugged in, leave it for 10 minutes and then do the forced reboot, volume down and power keys, but this time with the device plugged in. In case the phone refuses to charge, then we are dealing with a phone that has a drained battery and won't charge. In case your phone still won't charge, then don't waste any more time. Send the phone in for checkup and slash or repair. Step 2. Try booting the phone in safe mode and recovery mode. Assuming your phone charges fine and displays the usual charging signs like the charging icon on the screen and the LED notification at the top of the display but still won't turn on, then try to boot it up in safe mode first. This will rule out the possibility that one or some of your third-party apps is causing the problem. 1. Press and hold the power key. 2. As soon as you can see the Samsung Galaxy S7 on the screen, release the power key and immediately hold the volume down key. 3. Continue holding the volume down button until the device finishes rebooting. 4. You may release it when you can see safe mode in the bottom left corner of the screen. If the phone still won't boot up in safe mode, then try booting it in recovery mode. 1. Press and then hold the home and volume of keys, then press and hold the power key. Note, it doesn't matter how long you press and hold the home and volume of keys, it won't affect the phone but by the time you press and hold the power key, that's when the phone starts to respond. 2. When the Samsung Galaxy S7 shows on the screen, release the power key but continue holding the home and volume up keys. 3. When the Android logo shows, you may release both keys and leave the phone before about 30 to 60 seconds. Note, the installing system update message may show on the screen for several seconds before displaying the Android system recovery menu. This is just the first phase of the entire process. Step 3. Send the phone in for repair. After doing all these things and your device is still not responding, then it's time you sent the phone in for repair. As far as troubleshooting is concerned, you've done what you need to do as an average user. There's a possibility that it's a hardware problem. Hope this helped. Let us know if you faced problems in the comments below.